Welcome back to my channel everybody. As you can see behind me, I painted the kitchen pink. <laughs> so for a long time I've wanted to paint my kitchen cabinets pink and I kind of became 50 shades of pink because I didn't want baby pink, I didn't want girly pink, I wanted grown up pink. So I'm going to show you how I transformed my kitchen cabinets. My kitchen cabinets are now painted a million times but isn't that the fun of just playing in your house? I'm going to go straight into the video. Here is how I made my pink kitchen. These pictures are the original cabinets that I had when I moved into my house. So they were like an orange kind of MDF veneered kitchen. And I painted them in this sage green colour. It's called Frozen Fountain by Authentico. I absolutely loved this colour. The colour held up really well and I had no chips and I was really happy with it but I just got bored and I wanted a pink kitchen. I started prepping by removing all of the handles and I kept these knobs and I reused them in my pink kitchen. I cleaned down my cabinets with some crud cutter but you can use some fairy liquid and warm water. You just want to get as much grease off as you can and kitchens are notorious for having loads of grease from cooking and they do be much more dirtier than you expect. As you can see, I am painting straight onto the cabinets. When I painted the kitchen a couple of years ago, I took off all of the doors, but I'm a bit of a whiz now, if you've been around my channel for a while, and I am quite a tidy painter. Also, I get people asking, you know, how come I don't get paint everywhere? And my trick is, if you find that you get paint drips everywhere, you have too much paint on your roller. Less is always more. So I'm just using a foam brush and actually an old makeup brush and I'm applying one coat of primer. I'm not stripping back the paint because it's in really good condition and there's no chips. So I simply just cleaned it, gave it a light sanding and now I'm putting the primer on. I gave one coat of primer and then I gave two coats of the pink, which is Faro and Ball setting plaster. So here is the pink colour, it's called setting plaster. Now, when I put it on and I put the first coat on, it was, it was bald. And it took me, I had to sleep on it because I did not know if I liked it. I honestly was like, oh no, I think I have ruined it. But it turned out really nice in the end, but it did take me a minute. I did get a sample pot. And I did some testers. Um, I absolutely love this colour. I originally seen it on Lily Pebbles YouTube channel. She has it in her bedroom on the walls. And I just thought it'd be really nice on the kitchen cabinets. Um, but I do love it now. But if you do get this colour, I highly recommend getting tester pots. Because it can look different in different lights. And when the sun shines in the kitchen, it looks really, really warm. And then in the mornings when I don't have as much light, it can look more kind of baby pink. So it is one of them colours that kind of changes depending on the time of day.
When I put the first coat of pink on, I will not lie to you, I was voice noting Karen gone, I think I've made a huge mistake because as you can see on the camera, I'm looking at the screen, it doesn't pick up, it's more peachy coloured in real life and I got the idea of using the Farrow and Ball setting plaster because I seen um, Lily Pebbles, she's like a British YouTuber. She has a setting plaster in her bedroom on the wall, it's like that colour and I was like that is beautiful and I did get, I got a sample pot, I tested it and I was like yeah I'm just going to go for it um, but I suppose a DIY lesson is sometimes even when you do the sample pots and you know you do it you can get that oh I think I've messed up but I slept on it. And I did the second coat and I was like, you know, I'm going to finish this through because if anything, if I don't like it, I can keep it for a while. I'll change it again. Um, it only took me like two days to do it. And the second day, when I styled it and I put my knobs back on and I saw it was trinkets, I put some flowers in the kitchen. I was like, no, you know what? I like it. I do. And it did take me a few days to kind of be like, I went to like on a walk and I came back and I was like whoa I forgot I painted the kitchen like I was like whoa and then one morning I just came down and I was like hmm no I like it I like it my original plan actually was to change the countertop and to get like to do marble and I was like no that's not really my style that's kind of more of an Instagram kitchen and I don't want it to be an Instagram kitchen I want it to just be homely to reflect my personality and I was going to do like gold knobs marble um, counter change the like tiles and stuff now I still would like to change the tiles but I mean they're neutral there's absolutely nothing wrong with them and to be honest, I think I would learn how to tile. I love the herringbone tiles. I think they're amazing. Um, but yeah, I could change the tiles, no problem. But I'm sure if I watch a couple of YouTube videos, I could do the tiles myself. So I kept my original kind of knobs because <laughs> I was laughing to Karen and Joanne because I was like, I feel like I might need, you know, a bronze knob or a gold knob or something to bring out the colour. And I was like, you know what? I'm more of a floral knob kind of girl, so I reused those floral 
little handles. Now, I have seen a similar handle. Them handles are so old. They're probably about six years old. I got them originally in Harvey Norman and I don't think they do them anymore. But I was in B&Q getting wood the weekend and I saw a really similar handle. So it was that kind of porcelain floral knob. The only difference was I have a silver little backing and they had a gold. So if you are looking for something similar, that that's what I've seen. So it's a nice change from the sage green. I do really love the sage green. I love both. Um, but this field, I think this is gonna be nice and cozy in autumn. The sage green, well, I loved it. I just got bored of it, that's all. Um, and I love that colour, but I feel like this is quite warmer. And I added some rugs and texture, and thankfully Blondie hasn't wrecked them. So I'm definitely getting a bit more earthy <laughs> in my style. I don't know how to describe it. It's not boho, I still adore like cottage kind of things, but I've noticed that I'm wanting tactile things, so like rugs and things that feel nice and layer and add a bit of warmth. And this colour. Um, I don't know if it's being picked up on camera, but it's much more peachy and warm in real life. So I don't know if there's a kitchen emoji, but pop a kitchen chair emoji in the comments if you like it. Cheeky thumbs up, that is me for this week. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.